Yo, what is up guys? Who is he here? Back again with another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Kernel's new decompiler, the one that just dropped today. It's a pretty OP decompiler, currently the best one on the market. And I'm also going to be showing you guys how to view those scripts and also download and install Kernel properly. Um, I've been working hard on this video, so if you guys could please drop a like and a sub, that would uh, very be very helpful and if you guys have any questions just leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to answer all of them which appear within 24 hours so let's get right into it all right so first step you're gonna want to do is open your browser you can use on any browser but Google Chrome is preferred and you just gonna want to hop over to kernel.place I want to hear you're gonna want to go download and make sure that your virus and threat protection is off to do this go here manage settings and turn it off then once you've done that you can either do legacy or latest version a lot of you guys like legacy so i'll just be using legacy i already have it downloaded but if it doesn't let you download it hit Control j or go here and then go to um downloads which is right here and then you're gonna want to um click uh keep dangerous file and then it'll let you in all right, so after you download, you're gonna to want to go to down your downloads. Uh, run the kernel bootstrapper. I have mine right here. You can run as administrator, but just make sure that your antivirus is off. I just ran it before, so I'm just gonna open kernel here, and I have it here. And uh, if you guys don't know how to get a key, then I already made a video on how to get a key. Uh, it's the first video on the channel, so go and watch that, and uh, I'm going to open Roblox and show you how to use Kernel now. Alright, so before I open Roblox, I have auto attach off because a lot of you guys report issues saying waiting for game to load. So I just have auto attach off, and then I open the Microsoft Store Roblox, or I just open the Roblox first and then just wait until to open Kernel after. So I'm just gonna hop into Prison Life real quick. You know the classic exploiting game. I'm in here. And uh, so pretty much, there's two ways you can decompile the scripts. Or right, one way is you can use save instance. Save instance and decompile the whole game. If you wanna decompile the whole game, uh, I'm gonna show you the command. All right, so I have the commands right here. Uh, if you want to copy paste this, just join our Discord, kernel.place slash invite, and then go to uh, updates. So I'm just going to copy this right here. And I'm going to paste this right here. So I'll save instance game, and I'll decompile it equals true. I'm going to execute it. Oh, yeah, you got to I forgot I had on it. Wait for the content to close. Alright. And now I'm going to execute it, and then you should see up here. Uh, I just says uh, save to the place. So after we've done that, let me turn my volume on. Uh, all right. So after we've done that, just open uh, wherever the kernel folder is. It should be in downloads, but it could be anywhere. Workspace Inc. And uh, as you can see, this is the one that just saved right now. You can open it, and you shouldn't have any issues if you're doing this right. A lot of people are saying it doesn't work in spamming inside the server when 99 percent of the time it's their fault so just please uh follow the instructions and uh you'll be fine all right you'll be good so let's just open up a random local script as you can see here decompile using kernel it works fine uh let me see what else scripts they have start player yeah this and uh, yeah as you can see the decompiler just works fine uh, so I'm going to show you how to decompile individual scripts. Alright, so I'm back in the game here. And if you want to decompile scripts, you can run the decompile function and then put the script.path. So game dot blah 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 whatever. And then the script path and you can put it there. Uh, the way that I like to do is just go into uh, uh, open dex. Make sure you're running dex from hot scripts. And not like some like infinite yield dex because it's pretty dog shit. Alright, so as you can see, I could just open any script, uh, view script, as you can see, I could view the script just fine. 
Uh, what you're gonna want to do, you can either copy the script right here, or you can just save the script. And then again, once again, go to right here. As you can see, it's the same script. Save building, save building. So yeah, it'll just save it to the same folder. And uh, yeah, that's how you use the kernel new to kernel's new to compiler. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please drop a like. And if you have any questions, just go to our Discord server, and uh, a support member will be happy to help you guys. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. See ya.